Today we are cooking sea bass en papillot. En papillot is a French term that just means to cook in paper. So in your kit, you're going to have a piece of parchment paper that looks like this. When you open it up, it's actually gonna look like a heart. So uh, think of it as a one pot meal. Everything is going to be cooked in here in this paper. It's gonna be steamed with a lot of fragrance. Uh, we have some thyme, some white wine. We have some vegetables, some aromatics, things like that. So let's run through the kit right now. So as always, we'll have the recipe in there. It has all the ingredients listed at the bottom, plus the QR code at the top that will take you straight to this video. You'll also get that piece of parchment paper that I just explained, some whole unsalted butter, some white pepper, kosher salt, and there's that much kosher salt because what we're gonna do is a very similar process that we did with the salmon in one of the first videos where we're curing the fish for about 10 minutes in the refrigerator. And what that does is it imparts a little bit of flavor into the fish, uh, but it also stops the albumin, the protein from leaking out. Uh, some white wine, which is Chardonnay in this case, You'll have a nice portion of sea bass. Some microgreens. A nice herb oil. Lemon. Some thyme sprigs. And then we also have fingerling potatoes. So these are fingerling potatoes just because they're about the size of a finger. Um, so that's why they call them that. We have a carrot section, which is peeled a zucchini section, and then yellow squash. A lot of times yellow squash has a lot of seeds in the middle, so we just cut the exterior, and I'll show you what to do with those later. And then also a red pepper coulis. So the first thing we're going to do is cure our sea bass filet. It's a quick 10 minute cure. Uh, we're gonna salt it up real heavily, and then we're gonna set it in the fridge for about 10 minutes and let the salt do its thing. This filet has been cut into what's called a tranche cut. So instead of cutting straight down on the filet, I take my knife at a 45 degree angle and I cut it with the knife at that angle. What that does, it results in increasing the surface area, makes it look like it's a bigger filet, uh, but also uh, gives it a little more evenness throughout. So you can see the thickness throughout is about the same. So let's salt that up real heavily. We're gonna put that on the bottom. And then save some salt for seasoning and into the rest of the dish. And then we'll put that into the fridge for about 10 minutes. So with these vegetables, we're going to julienne them. So julienne is 1 8 by 1 8 by about two inches long. So the first thing you wanna do is kind of even up this carrot and use that as your base so that it's stable and it's not gonna roll anywhere. Let's trim off this end right here. And then again, you're looking for about 1 8 And then you can stack a couple on top of each other. And again, you're gonna do one eighth. And then we'll do the same thing with the zucchini. And the same thing with the squash. So now you have this nice julienne vegetables. We're gonna reserve that. So the next thing we'll do is the fingerling potatoes, very similar to Yukon Golds as far as the flesh on the inside. Uh, but what you want to keep in mind is you want all this stuff to kind of cook at the same pace or the same timing. So that's going to determine how thick we cut these because this is going to take the longest to cook. So we'll cut these pretty thin, uh, but we're going to cut them on an angle. So instead of cutting rounds just straight across, what we'll do is we'll angle our knife about 45 degrees. So we'll turn it just so we can get a little more leverage on it and just keep it really nice and thin. So that's what you're looking for, is nice thin potato rounds. Then, so the potatoes don't oxidize, we're gonna use a little bit of this herb oil. Don't use it all, save some for plating up, but we'll take about half of it and put it in there. And that way it's coated and stuff. We're gonna put a little bit of salt. We're also gonna salt and pepper these as well. and then reserve that for when we're ready with the fish. So now I've rinsed the sea bass and I patted it dry with a disposable towel. We're just gonna season it back up with a little kosher salt again. And some pure ground white pepper. So 
So now let's take our lemon and press down on it just to release some of those juices on the inside. We'll take the bottom off, top off, and then we'll cut that into four slices. And take out as many seeds as possible so it doesn't get into the final dish. Now this is the fun part. So we have everything seasoned. We have the sea bass seasoned, we have the vegetables, and we have the potatoes seasoned with a little bit of oil as well. So open up the parchment paper. And what you wanna think of when you're doing this is that everything is gonna be encased on one side. So what we're going to do is take all those ingredients and put them there, and then almost make like a calzone. Uh, and then we're gonna crimp the edge, and I'll show you how to fold it, and then we're gonna place it in the oven. So let's do the potatoes first. And now the sea bass, we're gonna lay right on top. We're gonna to take our thyme sprigs and break those up. We'll take two of our lemons as well. Some butter cubes. Point, the only other ingredient remaining is the white wine. So let's start folding it first. So we're gonna put it over and kind of turn it around. And essentially, we're just gonna keep crimping the edge. So fold it and then fold it again. And then you just keep folding it all the way around. Now, when you get to this point, take the white wine and just add it to it, trying to keep it inside. And then just finish folding that. Now you have everything encased. We've taken that, that last little bit and folded it under. We're gonna transfer it to a flat baking pan. And then we're gonna put it in the oven until it's cooked all the way through, about 25 minutes. So here we have our poppy oats and it's been in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. You wanna make sure that the potatoes are tender. So if you really wanna check on it, just kind of unwrap and check on the interior of it. A lot of restaurants, what they would do is actually present this dish in the paper. So they would cut a slit in the paper and they could do this either table side or in the kitchen, but it's actually presented this way. So what we'll do next is remove the sea bass filet. So this is what's called a fish spatula. So just get right under the sea bass and we'll move it off to the side. So I've separated everything a little bit. These were the lemons that were in the pouch, so we're not gonna use those for presentation, but I took the other two slices and just seared them on a hot pan with just a little bit of oil in the pan. So we got some nice caramelization on there. We'll present the dish with those two. We'll take these potatoes and just lay them off center. We'll take this veg and put it right beside it. This fish almost has the texture of a poached fish, so you gotta be really gentle with it. Put that right on top. Then we have our micro sprouts. We'll put a little bit of that herb oil in there just to give it some flavor, as well as just a little bit of kosher salt. We'll give that a good mix. And then we'll take our red pepper coulis and you can do any design you want. And then finally, we'll just take some more of that herb oil and just kind of drizzle it around. 